In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I made yarn pumpkins. So here is everything you're going to need. You're going to need some yarn, of course, and I suggest using a thicker yarn rather than this thin yarn. I did use the thin yarn, but it will take you a lot longer to make your pumpkin. Then you're going to need some foam pumpkins. I use these ones from Dollar Tree and also these ones from Hobby Lobby. You're also going to need some needles to thread your yarn and I use a small piece of a tree branch for the stem of the pumpkins. I'm going to start by removing one of these smaller foam pumpkins from the little clip that it was on and then I'm also going to remove the pumpkin stem and I'm using my scissors to stab a hole in the center of the pumpkin and then I'm just twisting these around so that I can get a large enough hole to thread my yarn through. I'm sure there is a much easier way to do this, but I don't have any power tools to drill a hole or anything, so that was the best I could think to do. It did work, it just sort of made a big mess. Then I'm going to cut off a section of yarn, and I'm going to start by tying this yarn onto my pumpkin, and I'm just doing a couple of knots, and then I'm going to twist my yarn so that the knot is in the center of the pumpkin in that hole so you won't be able to see it. On the other end of my yarn, I attached my needle and then I'm going to double my yarn up so that it takes a little bit less time to thread the yarn through a hole. And once you do that, you're just going to go ahead and start threading your yarn through the hole of, in the center of the pumpkin. And make sure you made your hole pretty big because you want to make sure you have enough room to thread your yarn all the way around the pumpkin, especially if you're using the thicker yarn, you're going to need a bigger hole. So what I did was thread the yarn so that there was one strand around each of the little indentions of the pumpkin first and did this all the way around and then I th would thread the yarn through one section at a time. Um, and keep going all the way around the pumpkin. That way it kind of lays nicer rather than just randomly threading your yarn through. If you go section by section, once you divide them all out, it looks a little bit nicer in the end. And another tip, if you're using thin yarn like this, you want to use a smaller piece of yarn at a time because otherwise it's going to take you a really long time to thread that whole piece of yarn through if you're using one that's super long. So I just use a little bit of a smaller piece at a time and then I would attach a new piece of yarn once the other one got to the end. So to add on another piece of yarn, all I did was just tie this onto the existing piece of yarn and I made sure that the amount of yarn I had left was enough so that when I thread it through the hole, the knot ends up in the center. That way you don't see it. So once I have that tied on, I'm going to go ahead and reattach my needle and then continue on and you will see that the knot ends up in the center of the pumpkin. And here is what the pumpkin looks like once it's completely covered with the yarn. And now I'm going to glue on my small piece of a tree branch for the pumpkin stem. I applied a little bit of glue in the center and then stuck the wood stem in the center of the pumpkin and that's it. I really like how this little yarn pumpkin turned out. I think it is super cute. Next up, I'm going to be making a larger pumpkin using this foam pumpkin from Hobby Lobby and I am Again, going to use my scissors to poke a hole in the center of it and twist it around to make it big enough. 
and you want the hole to be pretty big for this one because I am using a thicker yarn which will take up more room in the center. So again to start I just tied it on and then twisted the yarn so that the knot was in the center of the pumpkin where it would be hidden. And I am just going to do the exact same thing that I did for the smaller one where I wrap the yarn around each of the little indentions of the pumpkin first and then I go section by section all the way around the pumpkin. And this pumpkin took me probably about half the amount of time as a smaller one even though it is bigger because the yarn is much thicker so I didn't have to wrap it around as many times. And that is why I recommend using thicker yarn. I just had that thinner orange yarn that I thought was a really pretty fall orange color that I wanted to use. But you totally can use thin yarn, it just takes a lot longer. But this is a good craft project to do while you're sitting there watching TV or something because it's pretty mindless. And you can just wrap the yarn around and watch a show or something. I really like this yarn because it has some neutral colors in it and it goes well with the rest of my fall decor and the pumpkins that I made using this yarn ended up being my favorite pumpkins. I really like how they turned out. And here's what it looked like after I completed one section and I'm just going to keep going all the way around the pumpkin. And now that it is totally covered, I'm just going to cut off the extra yarn. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did for the smaller pumpkin where I add a drop of glue and a small piece of a tree branch for the pumpkin stem. I think this little pumpkin came out so cute. And here is all of the yarn pumpkins that I made. I think they look super cute in this little bowl that I got from Hobby Lobby. And I think this is a great decor piece that you can put in the center of your table. And you can use different colors of yarn to match your decor.